So you join us at the TT start line, that hallowed patch of paint, and we've got the three best bikes of 2021. We thought we'd go for a little ride and tell tales of uh, our TT experience. Obviously, Boothie now is a veteran of four years. Three years. Three years. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go around and have a goosey. So this is where you come up from practice. You come up this little lane and shoot straight down there. It's strange being up here, looking down there at nothing. A few cars parked up. Normally when you're here for the TT, if you haven't been, you won't know, but all this is full of trucks, full of full of motorhomes, full of people. Right, shall we? Yeah, let's, let us. See if we can remember the way round. Got more than one bike in your garage? Then you're pretty much guaranteed to save money with Bimoto's multi-bike insurance. Check it out. We've got Hammer Time Hartshorn joining us on the Beamer. Interestingly, so you come down here, my first flying lap, I came down here, even though it's straight for miles, it's so wide and then it goes to that. Which, when you're doing mm. 150 mile an hour, I just I had to roll, I was so scared. It funnels you in, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, interestingly, off camera, we were talking about this earlier, Broody, but. It's quite interesting, the, the newcomers lap, so you start down there, you're absolutely shitting yourself, first of a yeah. lap, and you're yeah. following Milky or Johnny Barton, you come down here, and the speed in which they set off is ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was under the impression that the speed control laps would be, you know, pretty slow, pretty, pretty sensible. Um, it, it wasn't, it was, I, I, don't get me wrong, it wasn't 130 miles an hour, but it was, Faster than I was, um, faster than I was expecting, and it, to be fair, it was too fast. I could barely keep up with Milky, and um, the two lads that I did the speed control laps with, uh, I think it was Seamus Elliott and Forrest Dunn. They they kind of pissed off and started leaving me, and it, it to be honest, it demoralised me. I thought, you know what? I don't know if I can do this. It's too fast. That's crazy. Yeah. And and they, I, I brought brought the bike back and I nearly parked it up, but I'm glad I didn't. Obviously, you don't get the same kind of definition and understanding when the roads are like this, but it's a good. Yeah, I mean, you know, this, 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 this is this is stunning, isn't it? This bit, this yeah, is really yeah. these these little crests here that you can barely even see. Yeah, you, you, you're almost take on a big bike. You're almost taking off on these. It's it's just it's just nuts, and it's so steep. Like you don't on the telly, you don't see how steep this bit of track is, do you? No, no. All the all the compression at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. All the all the the bumps that there's a, there's a couple of roads that that join onto this road, and they've got obviously the side streets have got a camber that joins into the camber of this road. So it just it just you know the end result is massive massive bumps in 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 the you know the course. So you're bouncing all over the place, and then you bomb deck the bike out over there, and then you take off over this jump, and it's just yeah you you, you go from standing around up there, sitting around waiting for hours for the, for the race of the practice to start to it, it all happening straight away, you don't, there's no, you don't, there's no warm up after the TT, you just straight right. in. And you've got cold tyres, you've got a full tank of fuel, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know you'll be, you'll be uh, yeah, they've been off the warmer for a good five minutes maybe? Yeah, probably, uh, yeah, 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 roll in, because you roll along, don't you, waiting for you to go out. Yeah, and the fuel, you don't really notice it, you probably won't notice it when you're riding around like that, like we are, but a full tank yeah. of fuel on any bike at the TT is a big, big... Yeah, uh, especially, especially when it's a 24 litre fuel tank yes. on the big bikes. Yeah. And, and, and the first hard bit of braking is this, down, like a reasonably steep downhill braking section from high speed to, you know, to probably first gear. I, I, I don't think I made the apex, at, this is quite a bridge that we're just approaching now. I don't yeah. think I made the apex once in the in, in, <laughs> uh, ever in three years of racing the TT. Just because you're going, you're going so fast and you, you maybe you slow down to about 50 and you think you're going slow enough but you're not. It feels like you're going about 20 mile an hour. I love this, uh, I love this corner. I, it was kind of short circuit, I kind of... Yeah, exactly. I know, yeah. It, it, it suited it, I liked, I liked it. This is where the first bit of where all the fans and the grandstands are yeah, and you get a yeah, real kind of yeah. sense of, of all the crowd. 
Yeah, yeah, and the sense that it's a it's a big event and there's, there's people watching, and you're not just you're not just riding around on a track day. It's um, no. it's a it's a proper thing. I've never noticed the tree until in the, in the middle. No, well I did obviously, but I only yeah, noticed yeah, yeah. it the yeah. other day really. I was thinking, man, that tree's pretty it, right, big right and right close. Right in the middle, of, yeah, yeah, right in the middle of a roundabout, a, a mini roundabout. Again, love the grandstand up there. Yeah, packed. That's always yeah. packed. That one. Everyone in the church. Yeah, all in the churchyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you, you, you see people all the way around the all the way around the TT course in places that you know, like like this hedge here. There'll be just faces popping out the side of the hedge. Yeah. Holding yeah. holding cam you know camera phones and the GoPros on selfie sticks and stuff. They banned selfie sticks I think a few years ago because a few of them got wiped out. We were we were talking about this in the van earlier on, but uh, you know asking what our favourite sections were. And for me, this this whole first section, so we get the ginger hole. I, ginger hall, I love. I love yeah. this. Everything about it. And then this is where you start seeing the sunlight, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Especially you come down practice, here and you just sort of, week. yeah. And when the sun's low, this is your first. You're just coming up here this hill, and you can just the sun is starting to. You have that strobe effect in the trees. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's, right. a big, that's a big, big point actually. Um, Milky kept banging on about it during our uh, newcomers sessions, and he's saying, "Oh, the strobe and and the sunlight." And I, I never really, you know, there's so much to learn in this place, and it never really kind of. Uh, and obviously, I believed him. I believed everything he said, but it never really got my attention. And then the yeah, first yeah, night of yeah. practice is like, "Whoa!" Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm the same. I kind of thought, "Ah, oh, you know, I'll put a dark visor on. I'll be all right. It's not a big." Like I've, I've ridden bikes in the yeah. sun before. I'll be all right. But yeah, but I think it's because it's because on the evening it's not so bad in the in the race week when you're racing during the daytime. But when it's evening practice, you know you, you're practicing at you know six till nine o'clock, and the sun's just getting low and low and lower down, and it's it's right in your face. Yeah. And then it's and then so so you're like you're squinting to see, and then and then you go under some trees, and then it's dark, and then you can't see. It's, it's, it's a bit of a nightmare. This is another bend that that it's. I think they call it Balahutchen. I didn't even. I didn't even consider the the amount of times I drove around the course, the amount of onboard laps I watched. I didn't even consider that as a bend. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. But but when you're going fast, it is a bend. It took me probably all week, practice week, to get that flat out. Really? Now I know I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know I can do it. It's not a problem. But genuinely, I, it, it it scared me. And the, the, and talk, the, the, talking of scary, this is this is where this is. Yeah. I mean, even on a super twin, coming down here, and I couldn't believe what Milky was saying to us. He was saying, you know, just knock it down a gear and just pitch it in. And I, I still don't know. I look to this day, go, how do those super bikes get through there? Without scary. Yeah. But do you, do, you, do you tap the brake or do you just change it down? Yeah, no, no. I'm on the touch. I'm on the brakes. Yeah. It's not. It's not even a touch of brake. It's a. It's a proper, proper. Yeah. Bit proper bit of brake down two gears. I think. Is it down uh, two gears? Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is one of them ones where every time you go through it, you think, could have done that faster. Could have done that because there's so much. It actually opens up loads on the way out. Yeah. As long as yeah. you get it. As long as you get it straight for these two little crests here, because it wheelies loads. As long as you get it straight, you, you, you can you can go really fast through there. But well, that's where Hillier had his uh, big one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And uh, Guy Martin had a big one there. Big, big well, yeah, ball, ball yeah. of flames on the first lap. It, it's about now. It's about now on the course. About here that I feel like I can start start opening it up. You know, I've, I've used both sides of the tyre. It's a big. You've got a big long straight now. You can everything's up to temperature. I've got my eye in. This is where. This is where I feel like I'm ready to push. Now this is this is a this is a big jump, and this one scares oh. properly scares me. They tell you they tell you you need to be right over to the uh, to the right hand side to, to stop you getting too much air. I've seen like, I, I haven't had any moments over this, but I've seen enough other people getting way too much air and nearly flipping over the back or landing square yeah. skew with and so it's yeah I'm, I was uh, a bit a bit steady over there because it frightened me. I love this bit, this bit's so fast. As you're coming down this hill, you've got over the jump, you're flat out, coming down this hill, it's just, and the, and the, 
it's actually quite wide now we're doing it at, at this sort of speed but when you're doing it fast it feels so narrow and you, you, you're threading it through these bits looking for the yeah there's a white house in the distance once you see the white house you, you know you can see the corner and you grab the brakes but it's it just the sense of speed you get because of all the trees and everything Boot. and you're flat that you're flat pretty much from ballot Scary all the way to yeah. here, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, so, pretty much. Yeah, bit yeah. of a roll for, for Crosby and the, the, the jump. Yeah, this is a nice section. Uh, yeah, to get this, right, isn't it? You've got to build it. up though. Yeah, yeah. This is one of them bits where it all leads into the next. You you you, you put one corner up, and and the whole section's knackered. You've got yeah. to you've got to regroup, haven't you? It, oh, it's really flowing out towards the two dogs. Some of Milky told us all the time on and uh, on the videos and. The laps. I never knew what the two dogs were until I until I came over and they sat there on a wall. Is that the house Mossy ended up in? Uh, I think it might be though. I, I think, think it, it might is, be. Yeah. 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 I think I think he's got into the uh, Griever Bridge thinking he was some, somewhere else. Yeah. And uh, yeah, got it all wrong. And this is I'm sure the superbike is a proper. Did it just yeah. change his it, name? It's not called Harold before, was it? Was it? Yeah, I think it was, yeah, yeah. That first little king's flat out, yeah. this one. This one it's a proper roll and it's a real late apex. So you can you can't really see where, where it is until you kinda get right round the corner. And and a few times that they they, they put all um, uh, boards on the outside so you you know so you can see where the outside of the road is, but a few times I got a little bit too close to it. This is gonna be one of the uh, one of the most famous corners on the track, or certainly one of the most famous buildings on the track, the Ballad Crane. I think George Formby rode, rode, rode his bike through there, did he? I can't remember. Yeah, I think he, I think he, I think he outbraked his, oh, for theatrical purposes, but I think he outbraked himself, rode his, rode his bike through that door and out the back. And this is one of those corners, you're turning right here, by the way, into Ballad Crane. Um, and it's one of those corners where, again, you, 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 you know it's a nice corner, you kind of, it's relatively slow and there's lots of people about and I'm just a bit, a bit of showboating. Not a show, but a bit of style. Yeah, there's yeah, no, yeah, a bit, you don't, bit of knee you know, down, yeah. You don't yeah. necessarily get your knee down anywhere on the TT course, you don't have to. But, you know, just around here, you give it a bit of homage. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, just, to, just, to just, just to show them you know how to ride a bike. Yeah, so this is, this is probably, I, yeah, Glen Hill is my favourite uh, section, but again, the, all the run-up to this is just... That's a famous wall, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milky, Milky went into that wall, yeah. It's, it's interesting, Al, Al, Al was saying earlier on off camera that this is his favourite section and just said now it's his favourite section. It's one of my least favourite sections, yeah. just because it's it's so technical. And, you, you know, you've got to be... Again, it's another one of them bits where... It, 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 everything li links into the next bit. You make one yeah. mistake and it and it ruins your line and then and your speed in the next three or four corners. Um, and, and you I, really you really got to know what you're doing as well, aren't you? Like where to break and like because you know, yeah. if you break too hard in there, you're going to be in the hedge because yeah. the bumps and the cambers and the road and yeah, you yeah, really yeah. it's one of those you know it's going to take you a good yeah. a whole a whole year really to get used to it. Yeah, and there's a big plateau just coming round here, isn't there? That, yeah. that if you don't get the bike just there, look, if you don't get the bike stood up straight, you, you, you can you can almost take off and then land with it, tank slapper in, and then you either run into that into that bank or off the edge there. And there's always loads of people here at the Black Dog watching, getting pissed, eating pies. Although I struggle with this whole this section as a whole, I absolutely love these two these two turns, like Glen Ellen one and Glen yeah. Ellen two. This yeah. one, you've got to get them right though. This one's the really fast one, so you can do this yeah. flat out. But the next one you can't, <laughs> and, it, and, and you've got you've got to get it the right way around, otherwise you're going to make a mess. But it's so fast, and then, and, and, then bit, you, and then yeah, this is it. This is my this is my favourite bit. This, yeah. I don't know what it is. I, I just the way it sort of undulates and just back, it's a good feeling. The bike makes you feel good in this yeah, bit, yeah, in this yeah, area. Yeah, you know, yeah, it, it pushes you into the tarmac. Yeah, and you you flow through it, don't you? And it, yeah. you, this corner that we're just approaching now, uh, Sarah's cottage. Milky said when we was doing our newcomers lap laps, that be so careful around here. Yeah. Because people always crash. 
you'll there'll, there'll nearly always be a yellow flag it's really off camber be really careful and i think the first the first race lap i, I did round there someone had crashed and i think it was one of the newcomers actually just because it it, it sucks you in yeah. and it's off camber and so we're 10 miles in not even a third it's a long old way around this track isn't it i had no idea i know it would be physical but I had no idea how mentally draining four laps of this place was in a race. It is. Yeah. It's insane, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's. It, it's. It, the concentration required is way greater than anything I've ever done. You know, short yes. circuit stuff. Yeah. yeah, you're concentrating, but it's. You, you, you can kind of on a short circuit. You can. You can see usually see around the corners you can see where you're going you, you, you know the track because you've probably done 100 laps on there before whereas here you you're almost doing it blind because you know every corner every corner's blind nearly yeah it's, you, you, you're, you're riding on you're riding on knowledge as well as skill so i was coming down here my second lap blind lap come down here i thought i was on it and then hillier came past me Going in here, Shit. he gave me the bird, and then he, he and he's like slapping his ass like this, doing it like buckaroo, like going into here, and I was like, go fuck, ah, ah. And I was like, oh man. And then, so again, my first line lap, just after Hillier passed me, thankfully he got out of the way. I was coming down here, again a lovely flowing section, this isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. I was coming down here and even on a twin you kind of you kind of wow your fifth gear which is a good 130 mile an hour and just about here between these two arrows the bike yep. let go it exploded cornwood out the side of the engine and i ended up hitting that bank there at about five miles an hour oh fucking hell and i sat over there shifting myself in the marshals like there and i had I drank eight, bottles, eight bottles of Stella, and I smoked twenty fags, and I haven't smoked <laughs> in years. That, that's what this place will do to you. I broke down up here on um, the classic TT a couple of years ago. I bought myself a six hundred pound ZXR seven hundred and fifty that was just a complete bag of shit. Spent a couple of weeks prepping it because I only bought it a couple of weeks before the TT, before the classic TT. Spent a couple of weeks prepping it. And uh, yeah, brought it here. Never ridden it before. Got as far as this, and then it just stopped. Oh, man. Parked up in that side street there. I well, walked a couple it, of corners, this fixed. is. Yeah. Yeah, awesome bit of track, this, isn't it? Yeah. I've this never is... got that top corner right. I've never, never had the balls. Whereas at the bottom, bottom of the garage here, this is the famous shot where you see all the bikes bottoming out and the belly pans and engines and whatever hitting you right over to the all the fans are there waving and you just yeah. oh boof. yeah big old boof. that 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 depression there is is uh i mean it, you don't you probably don't even notice it in a car but it's big enough on a bike to bottom it out so much that you'll yeah. smash your bottom your sub in the senior yeah. race in 19 i think i think it was james hillier actually yeah he, uh, he smashed his sub and just lost all his oil just in one hit all of here was covered in oil in james's oil and the, and this bike was parked up here and into kurt michael i mean this is where this is the biggest sensation of speed I've ever experienced in my life and I was only riding a you know 100 horsepower super twin this is where you see that everything you know after spending the hot one we passed how many miles flat out for so long in such a wide open space or well, not wide open but there's no towns or anything since yeah, Dublin yeah. and you come here uh, and you you hit with Kurt Michael with 30 mile an hour zones and you know just yeah, I've yeah. got a beautiful shot of me coming down here past the chemist on a grocery, green store, or whatever it is. This is the bit of the track for me that, that you're riding through at like 100, 150 mile an hour plus probably on a big bike. And you, you feel like you should, you know, you feel like you're doing something illegal. Like, yeah. the, 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 up to now, it's kind of been a bit open and, you know, you know, you're in a race, you get in here and you think, well, there's no way we can be racing through here. It's a, it's a town, you know, there's houses and people and... 30 mile an hour signs you can't be racing through this but you are and you just you know, on the stop flat out screaming past all, all these people waving out the 
bedroom windows. Absolutely insane. On the first lap, the speed control lap coming through here, this little dip, I was kind of sat up, not, not pushing real hard, and I gave it a bit of a handful to, to ride off the edge of this dip, and, and it, I didn't realise how steep a drop it would be. I think it felt it felt like the the, the whole bike almost took off the, the ground, and then when it landed, my, my hand kind of jolted the throttle like that. Yes, that was when I was riding. The front wheel came up and screen hit me in the head. Oh, whiskey throttle. Whiskey, yeah, full whiskey throttle. Ren Callan, another another iconic section, is it really? The, the, the yeah. jump and the yeah, wheelies. The jump, yeah. Yeah, there's been a lot of um, there's been a lot of scary jumps over this and a few yeah. crashes. Yeah. So the the problem with this is you've got to it's a it's a jump right after a turn. So you need to you've got to get the bike straight and up upright before you take off. If you try and take off with any any lean angle, well you're alright when you take off, but when you land, the thing will have crossed up and you just yeah, you're a passenger. Yeah, I didn't really get on with this bit at all because it's all under the trees, all looks the same, and you, I was just, you know, there's a lot of it from side to side, and curb to curb, tree to tree or whatever, and just never really got the hang of it. Wow, the bridge. Balaf. Balaf, Balaf. Bridge. Oh, another, another newcomer's lap, uh, the opening lap, come down here, and we were going, this, this kid had lost his way, uh, and he was so far going over else. We started braking, and he'd lost the milking whoever it was in front. And he hit this about 70 miles an hour, I'm not kidding. Proper, oh shit me. Oh shit. It's proper knack knack the bastard. Like, I almost did to that car then. <laughs> I've got an awesome video of me going over there. We'll play now. Bala Cry, another big jump. Another big fast jump. I had a few, uh, a few little um, awkward moments over there. Because, because like Ren Cullen, you've got to get the bike stood upright before you let the wheels leave the ground. And, you know, you, you, you think you've got it upright, but a lot of the time you haven't. And that little bit of lean angle when you take off can uh, yeah, cause major problems when you, when you land. In Corey Brenz, this is your favourite section of the whole circuit, isn't it? Yeah, it is my favourite section. Yeah. And, and I think it's because it's it's fast and flowing and a bit short circuity. You know, it's you just each one of these gets just faster and faster and faster than the next. And it's it's a bit of track that re you know if you if you're riding well, it'll reward it. Yeah. Yeah, you've really got to tug at the bars here, haven't you? Yeah, really yeah. Tugging. Tugging, bar tugging, and it's as well as it being a, a, a brilliant, fun bit of track to ride. It's probably one of the most important bits of the circuit as well, because if you get that right, it's gonna yeah. it's gonna add to your speed all the way up Sulby Straight. This is Sulby Straight now. There's a there's a little kink here. That they call it Kayleys. It's barely a kink. Here it is, but little tiny kink. Well, that was one of the that was one of the bits that learning the TT course I didn't really worry about because I thought ah it's not a problem flat out don't worry about it concentrate on learning the important bits the actual corners well it's them bits that'll catch you out because you can see the corners you know you know they're there but a little kink like that it's absolutely fine if you, if you if you're prepared for it and you you know it's there but if you're not it'll have you and that'll be it the the mega bumpy part of the section starts in a couple of corners time doesn't it but yeah i didn't i didn't realize how bumpy this was until i tried to do it fast yeah when you yeah. when you when you when you're trying with all your might to get your your elbows in and your head as low as you can under the bubble every, every bump bounces your head out out from up under the bubble and then the wind grabs you and then you f you're like constantly fighting the wind because the bumps are bouncing you a into the air. A straight shouldn't be difficult, you should just be easy because you've got a straight line, but it's just, just crouching yourself in when you're getting bounced around. Ah, it's really hard work. And this kink at the end, like this yeah, kink yeah. here, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, scary. That that you can do on a flat on a big bike, but takes takes some doing. This is the last corner of Ginger Hall where, for me, it's of any interest because all the way into Ramsey because this whole section it is just so bumpy and so 
Yeah. Shit, I think it just ruins the whole course for me. Yeah, this is where the nonsense starts, isn't it? Yeah. As soon as you get over this this crest here, it just the bike's gonna shake the bars out of your hands, isn't it? It's you, know, you, you can't you can't push on because no. the faster you go, the 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 harder it is to hold on. Like the, the corners, the straights, the braking areas, the the acceleration areas, it's all just you bouncing around, aren't you? And even Ooh. even up, even at 50 miles an hour on these bikes. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, it's horrible. Wow. My ass is in tatters. <laughs> and I found this one of the one of the more difficult places to learn as well because yeah, it's kind of all it's all a bit samey. It yeah. all, you know, it's it's just trees and a, and a wiggly bit of tarmac in the middle. You don't you don't get you don't get much to, to kind of reference. But you've got to go. It's still so fast. You can't you can't really get away with rolling off. This is a, a real curb hedge curb hedge curb yeah. section. You're just going from one one side to the other, trying to trying to draw as straight a line as possible. Why is the K tree called the K tree? Because a bloke years ago, and someone out there will know exactly who and exactly when, he, I don't know if he hit it or he nearly hit it, because there's obviously a, a curb sticking out of the bottom. Uh -huh. So 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 he, he he sprayed a big K on the tree to, to, to remind himself of the fact that there's a curb sticking out of the bottom. And it's at this point now where I see the 30 signs and I see the Ramsey signs. And Milton Town, this is, this, is, this is a real jump here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, a little jump here, yeah, yeah. And, and, and then it calms down a little bit. It's, it's yeah. a little bit smoother now. But yeah, that, that, that point where I see that sign is like, oh, yes. Yes, you can breathe again now. Yeah. This is another ballsy corner, isn't it? Yeah. Big fast one. Never got it right. No, you can well, use the exit, can't you? Yeah, yeah. And, use and, that. Yeah, there's a, yeah that lay by there. I've used that quite a lot just because I just feel like you might as well. Again, this is another one of them where you, you, you're having to slow down to what feels like walking pace from from big speeds, and you get to you get to 30 mile an hour and think you can get around the corner, but it's yeah. it's such a tight, bumpy, you know, yeah, tight, bumpy, and this was a this was a mega mega bumpy corner a few years ago but they resurfaced it in 2019 it's much nicer now just the inside bit no this all the resurface is all right right about now i'm getting excited it's like right okay and now we've got the mountain section yeah and I, I, I i relaxed i got up here and i relaxed it's crazy isn't it you yeah. got the, the fastest one of the most technical pieces of tarmac in the world and it's like it's still inviting yeah it's just so flowing and And flowing, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with that, <laughs> flowing and flowing. Until you get to here. Going back to what you said about uh, Sarah's cottage. Ah, uh, uh, yes. I was, I was coming up here on my first night of practice and Milky said, always watch out for waterworks one and two. Waterworks one is fast, waterworks two is not as fast, nowhere near as fast. You've got to turn in late. And I came around here and there was yellow flag going, and I was like, oh God. And there was a, uh, a, a Kawasaki upside down in the hedge and a, an orange vest, I thought, oh, boobies crash, water <laughs> squats. And it wasn't, it was Forrest Gump, but, um, Forrest Gump, sorry, that's a genuine mistake. I, I didn't crash there, but that did catch me out because, yeah. like you said earlier on, you know, you, you, you told all these things as newcomers and you, you listen to everything, but some of it sinks in more than other things and, and yeah, I knew to turn in late there, but I didn't turn in late, and, I, and I, I turned in late, but I didn't turn in late enough, and and nearly nearly ran out of road once twice. But you know, but sometimes them them near misses are, are actually good because it just it just heightens your senses, doesn't it? Yeah. You, 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 you you can learn from a near miss as much as you can learn from a, a, a what's the what's when it's not a near miss? <laughs> it's an actual an actual thing. A hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so it. Yeah. Just out of interest, the gooseneck, lovely in race week, but anything other, when you have to go around the legal side of the road, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah, so you need both. Don't try to go around there fast. Yeah, you need both sides of the road for that yeah. to work, to work, don't you? Alright, do you have a bit of a speed up? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Was he waving at us? 
I don't know. Well, we're on the unrestricted section of uh, Mountain Road now, so I'll let the dog see the rabbit. Even though I know I'm not, I still feel like I'm breaking the law. <laughs> I think this is my favourite corner of the whole. Uh, no, that's a lie. Actually, it's the most short circuit corner yeah, of the whole is, track. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's great. And it's I, yeah. I love coming out of this, yeah. waving to the fans a little bit, popping a bit of a wheelie. Yeah, just a bit, a bit showboating. But this is this is where. So you, you've got the so on the on the last lap of the race, got the mountain out of the way. Last lap of the race, you come out of there, and then you're thinking, right, I just need to get, I just need to get to the end now. You kind of, not, you're not even thinking about pushing hard or going fast. You're just thinking, get to that finish, yeah. get to that finish. You're, you're listening to your bike and thinking, oh, what, have I heard that noise before? What's that rattle? It's, it's nothing. It's just in your head. But you, you're that determined to get to the finish. You, you're almost paranoid that that that, that something's wrong and you're going to run out of fuel. Do I need to start rolling the throttle a little bit to save fuel? Oh yeah. Uh, funny you say that because I always thought that was just a saying but on the second lap of my race uh, the bike cut out to one cylinder intermittently oh. so it chewed a spark plug so now and again it would come to two it was quite smooth but it was just, I was just it wouldn't even pull the top gear on the mountain wasn't it? And, um, I was just praying praying that I could uh, bring it home yeah you know, I, it, the, you know, being this far away from a TT finishes medal and yeah. the bike breaking, yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a corner that is, Brandish, isn't it? Yeah, Brandish, that's yeah. one of my favourites. Yeah, mega fast. Yeah. yeah, this corner, Hilbury, a lot of people aren't mega keen on it, but it's one of my favourites. I think because it, it's a fast corner, but, but it's actually quite tight. Yeah. But because but because because it's it's uphill and it actually gets quite steep, you can throw the bike in with so much speed. And, and the hill takes a bit of speed off you, so you you just, it's one way, you just every lap you just go a bit faster and a bit faster and you get that real sense of speed and then you, you get a bit of a, oh, as you go down the dip at the bottom. And so of course we're coming down to the part where, well the only part of the track where it isn't open to the public. Yes, yeah, the Nook and Governor's Bridge. Yeah. Yeah, two little ni niggly bits. Horrible thing. Horrible, yeah. And, and I don't uh, understand, I don't understand why they do that. I think it's just a bit of tradition, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it obviously, it obviously was the main road a long time ago. Um, oh, was that right? Yeah, it was. The, ah. well, I'm, 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 I'm assuming it was. I'm assuming that that's the way the road went. Um, yeah, down there. Yeah, always down there. Greasy, isn't it? Always greasy. Always and horrible. greasy. Yeah, horrible, slippery, slidey. And then if you, if you, if you've had any wet. You know, if you—I mean, they don't run the TT in the rain, but if it's been a bit of drizzle at any point and it's the rest of the track's dried, it never dries under there because it's, it's under the trees and it's leaves and yeah, it's not very nice. But it's all part of it, isn't it? And it, and it makes this bit such a tight turn. So you come out yeah. of you come out of the nook there, and then you've got to loop back round almost 180 degrees down into Governor's Bridge. And it's so 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 tight. If you've got a bike with a steering damp, well, you need a bike with a steering damp on around here, otherwise it'll shake itself to bits. But you know, you can you you almost find yourself fighting against the steering damp to try and turn the bike down Governor's Bridge, and then it pops you out here. And that was a lap 
of the TT course. So if you're racing in the senior TT, you've got another five of them to do. Which, uh, yeah, it's hard work. You'll, you'll know about it the next day. You'll know about it the next day because you'll probably have a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> 